Hello students, welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Mbogo. So dear students, I believe that you are doing uh, good wherever you're watching from, and I'm also glad uh, that you are watching. So in this session, I'd like to take you through a topic uh, in grammar, and that is compound complex sentences. Compound complex uh, sentences. So uh, talking about uh, this uh, topic, uh, that is compound complex sentences, we are going to, uh, you know, uh, learn or talk about a combination of two types of sentences. Uh, that is a compound sentence and a complex sentence. So back in Form 2, uh, we learned about, uh, you know, uh, three types of sentences. That is a simple sentence, compound sentence, and uh, complex sentences, where uh, we, uh, you know, uh, also learned that uh, simple sentences uh, represent or express a complete thought and therefore they can stand alone in a sentence. And uh, we also learned that compound sentences contain two complete uh, thoughts uh, that are in two forms. That is, uh, in the form of an independent, uh, I mean in the form of two independent uh, clauses that is joined by a, a conjunction or a punctuation. So uh, an independent clause is what we call a simple sentence. So we're also going to come across, you know, a dependent clauses and independent clauses. Uh, that is uh, throughout uh, the, uh, uh, that is the learning session. So when we talk about an independent clause, uh, an independent clause is, a, you know, a clause that can stand alone in a sentence and express a complete thought. So it is in, uh, it is in the form of a simple sentence and vice versa. So compound sentences are types of sentences that contain two complete thoughts in form of two independent clauses joined by coordinating conjunctions. So the coordinating conjunctions that we have are dear students. Uh, uh, we only have seven coordinating conjunctions. Uh, there are, you know, uh, several types of conjunctions or uh, different types of conjunctions. But when we talk about the coordinating conjunctions, we refer to uh, the fanboys. So uh, fanboys is just a, you know, uh, a formula or uh, 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 a way of uh, ensuring that you master the uh, seven conjunctions. So talking about fanboys, uh, these are the, the, the name fanboy uh, is derived from the initial of all the seven coordinating conjunctions. So we have F, uh, that is a for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So uh, examples of uh, compound sentences in, uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, example of a compound sentence that is having uh, two complete thoughts uh, are here. So the first one, these students are good, but they could be better. So these students are good, express a complete thought. It is uh, an independent clause. Then there is a conjunction, but plus another sentence, another uh, clause that uh, can also stand alone in a sentence. That is, they could be better. Another one is, I bought a guitar for I wanted to learn how to play it. So I bought a guitar is an independent clause. There is uh, the coordinating conjunction for, and uh, the other, uh, that is clause, that is I wanted to learn how to play the guitar or how to play it that uh, can also stand alone. So complex sentences uh, are formed now when two or more clauses are joined by subordinating conjunctions. So the subordinating conjunctions are different from uh, the coordinating conjunctions. Some of the subordinating conjunctions that we have are uh, because if, although, when, unless, before, after, etc. So complex sentences contain only one independent clause. And remember, an independent clause is in the form of a simple sentence. So complex sentences contain only one independent clause and at least one dependent uh, a clause. So that means that, uh, you know, uh, it can have one or more dependent clauses. So that brings us to uh, another uh, area that is dependent, uh, a dependent clause. So when we talk about a dependent clause in a sentence, dear students, uh, this is a part of a sentence that cannot stand alone. Uh, it cannot stand alone to express a complete thought. So it will uh, therefore need the help of uh, an independent clause to, uh, you know, be able to express a complete, a complete thought. Yeah, so they cannot uh, stand alone. Now, uh, 
Here is an example of a complex sentence that is Winston enjoys marketing because he gets to be creative. So looking at this sentence, uh, Winston enjoys marketing is uh, an independent clause. That is, it's, it can stand alone and again express a complete thought in this sentence. Then we have got the subordinating conjunction because, then uh, there is uh, the other part of the sentence that is uh, in form of uh, that is dependent clause that is also called a subordinate, uh, a, subordinate uh, a subordinate clause that is he gets to be creative so when we say he gets uh, to be creative uh, there is a question that is left unanswered who gets to be creative so it cannot stand alone on a sen uh, that is it cannot uh, stand alone in a sentence uh, to express a complete thought or it cannot stand alone as a sentence so the subordinating conjunction in the sentence is used to explain the relationship between uh, the two clauses. We can also use a comma in complex sentences when we start with a dependent clause. Uh, so, because he gets to be creative, comma, Winston enjoys marketing. So that is also one way of uh, rewriting uh, a compound sentence uh, with the subordinating uh, uh, a clause or the independent clause uh, appearing uh, uh, before or uh, starting the entire sentence. So on to uh, the next uh, area, a subtopic that is now the, uh, the area of focus, that is compound complex sentences. So dear students, when we talk about a compound complex sentences, we are referring to a sentence that uh, combines a compound sentence with a complex sentence. Now, I believe that you uh, uh, you all know uh, now uh, what a compound sentence is and what a complex sentence is, having uh, you know defined them and even given examples. So, compound complex sentences contain two or more independent clause and one or more dependent clause that is linked with coordinating conjunction and a subordinating conjunction. So at this point, you're supposed to know what coordinating conjunctions are and what subordinating conjunctions are. So uh, consider the sentences below. The first sentence, we wanted to view the home, but we didn't, for it was locked. So uh, that is the first uh, sentence. We wanted to view the home, but it was, uh, uh, but we didn't, for it was locked. So in that sentence, we are having Three clauses. We are uh, we are going to see how. Then uh, another sentence. If you don't believe me, comma, ask my mother, and she will confirm it. So again, uh, that is another example of a compound complex sentence. So now, uh, just to comment on the two uh, sentences, or maybe the first. In the first example, there are two independent clauses joined by the coordinating conjunction, but so. Uh, the first uh, uh, two clauses or the independent uh, clauses are, uh, 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 the two independent clauses are that we have is number one, we wanted to view the home. So that is uh, uh, an independent clause because it express a complete thought. It is uh, meaningful. Then uh, another one is, uh, we did not, uh, uh, we did not then, there is also the last uh, clause, that is the third clause for it was locked, which is, which is now a subordinate uh, clause. So we can say that if you don't, uh, sorry, we wanted to view the home is a first, uh, is a first clause. Then the second one, we wanted to view the home, but we didn't, again, expressing a complete thought. Then the third one, that is not expressing a complete thought. Uh, that is now for it was, for it was locked. And uh, the sentence, contain a coordinating conjunction but and a, uh, and a subordinating conjunction for. So the second example, now looking at the, uh, the second example or the second sentence, we realize that it starts with the subordinating conjunction if, which introduces the subordinate clause. So the second part of the sentence contain two independent clauses joined by uh, the coordinating conjunction and, and uh, Dear students, that brings us to the end of this session, and I believe that uh, you are able to learn something about compound complex sentences. Once again, my name is Mr. Stanley Mbogo, 
until next time bye